You know, some believe that Satan is the only individual that can grant you wishes like power, fame, and fortune. And I'm here to tell you, that's just simply not true. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. And today we're talking about Rihanna and how she made the biggest mistake of her career. But before I tell you exactly what that was, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button and comment and all of those things because I'm trying to grow as a channel and you can help me do that. Do you want to learn more about the conspiracies that lie within all of the messaging and lyrics and music videos? Well, then subscribe to the channel because Song Theory is here for you. Now, let's discuss Rihanna. We know that Rihanna has made some incredible music in her career, but one of the songs that I think we need to pay attention to today, specifically, is the song Umbrella. Now, Umbrella was an R&B song that came out back in 2007, and yes, 2007 was a long time ago. You know, kids, I was alive for that, and I was there when the song dropped. <laughs> so I can tell you, as an old guy here, it was, it was a good song, okay? And we were all bopping to it. We were dancing and having a great time until we started to look at the lyrics and watch the music video. It took some time for us to all figure it out. Hold my hand, and I will help you discover the deeper meaning behind the song umbrella now before we talk about the bread and butter the lyrics and the music video we first have to talk about who the rain man is and why the rain man is important so the rain man is a demonic entity that has existed for a millennia that grants the wishes of the person who is summoning them and the rain man gives fortune and fame and money and all types of great things to the person who is summoning them because that's what the rain man wants the rain man wants to own you in these ways so that you have to come back to him for more blessings and if you don't do what the Rain Man says or what the Rain Man wants, well, let's just say that all of that goes away and you will now be damned to hell. <laughs> Sounds great, right? Now that you know who the Rain Man is, let's discuss how the Rain Man connects with Rihanna, the song Umbrella, and perhaps even more things that you might not have noticed. So when we do these song theories, I'd like to first look at the lyrics and then the music video so we can have a full understanding. So let's look at the lyrics first. Now, I have to help you understand that what the Rain Man wants is to be mentioned, is to be praised. And how do you do that? Well, you have to mention the Rain Man by way of saying things like precipitation or rain or storm. Even an umbrella can be used as some type of symbol for the Rain Man. So Jay-Z says a lot of important key words in his verses. He says clouds, hydroplane, clouds again. He says weather. He says precipitation. He says rainy day but most importantly and what caught the eye of every single conspiracy theorist that recognizes what the rain man is and what he wants is the fact that jay-z himself said rain man it's right there in the lyrics it's literally <laughs> right there in the lyrics what are what are we supposed to do as conspiracy theorists are we supposed to just ignore that are we supposed to look at him literally reference the rain man by name and go oh no, it's fine it's totally cool it's not cool you have to be you have to understand that Jay-Z has always been a part of the Illuminati according to conspiracy theorists, right? We all recognize that. So is it really that far-fetched that Jay-Z would pull Rihanna into some mess like this? Of course not. It's not at all. In the song, Rihanna begins to sing her verses and it becomes very clear that this song is designed to worship the Rain Man. And it's pretty eerie once you look a little deeper into what it is that Rihanna is saying. She's saying things like, when the sun shines, we'll shine together. Told you I'll be here forever. Said I'll always be your friend. Took an oath and I'll stick it out to the end. Now, many conspiracy theorists for years have been looking at these lyrics and connecting them right back to the oath that she made with the Rain Man, along with Jay-Z. Some even believe that Jay-Z may be the physical embodiment of the Rain Man. I mean, note, he is a billion dollar rap star who started from nothing. And as he began to reference things like this, he found riches. Now, I know you're thinking that's a little crazy and maybe it is, but you see right here in the song that he references the name Rain Man, along with Rihanna, giving us notes and hints that she is also a part of it as well. When you get tied up with someone like Jay-Z and record deals and Rockefeller, you have no choice. So it's unfortunate, but Rihanna, it's not like she ran away from it, but instead she leaned into it. Conspiracy theorists even realized there was the distinction between the Rihanna of old and the new Rihanna that made the deal with the Rain Man. Let's take a look at the music video. 
First of all, you can see before it starts raining that Rihanna is dressed in this beautiful white flowing dress and we all know that white represents purity. And as soon as it starts to rain, Rihanna is now in this black leotard dress leather thing and she has what appears to be an umbrella, the insignia of the Rain Man. Look, it's quite obvious at this point between the lyrics and the music video that there are several signs that we can point to to say that she has effectively given herself to the Rain Man and that Jay-Z facilitated that deal. But this actually goes a lot deeper than it seems. So if you recognize now that the Rain Man can be represented by the umbrella, I want you to think about every other song and every other video or every other conspiracy that might also revolve around an umbrella or rain or moisture or precipitation. There's a lot of them. I mean, let's just go down the list of songs that were about rain. I just want to do this real quick, just so you can kind of get an idea of what we're talking about. Cause it's not just Rihanna, I promise you. Let's look at the, let's look at the list, okay? You have Gary Allen's song about rain, Led Zeppelin's The Rain Song, The Beatles, Rain, The Weather Girls, it's raining men. I mean, even Prince's Purple Rain, guys, it keeps going and going and going. The Rain Man has his giant fist up the butthole of the music industry. And we are all listening to it and we're accepting these rituals happening through the music sound waves and we have to stop it, guys. We have to recognize that the Rain Man is trying to suck us all in to this vortex of evil and we can't let that happen. So you guys gotta wake up and we gotta fight back. How do we do that? I've I'm not entirely sure. I I don't really know. I'm, I mean, talking about it, I think, it is enough. I mean, because I'm not going to stop listening to the songs. If I mean, Umbrella is a fantastic song. Do you, do you, are we, are we going to stop listening to it? Now that you know the truth, it will make you free, okay? You now know and understand that Rihanna has sold her soul to the Rain Man entity. Jay-Z was the facilitator and all of this ties back to your soul that's right right here man if you keep participating in these rituals these sonic rituals it will it will engulf your soul man you got you got to get out of it dude you 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 got you got to pull yourself out of of that mindset of allowing your your brain and all that to get jumbled up in there okay <laughs> listen you're probably asking what proof do we have listen if you're a real conspiracy theorist you wouldn't ask such a question you wouldn't okay nothing is a coincidence nothing is by chance all of this has been planned by those people in the dark that you can't see anyway thank you so much for watching this video i hope you had a great time here with me understanding how your soul is on the line i hope you all have a great day and a better tomorrow god bless watch out for the rain man entity and i'll see you all later